hello everyone so in this tutorial i want to show you how you can actually build a full adder circuit using proteus simulation software so at first i want to talk to you about the theoretical part so here you can see that a full adder circuit is such a circuit by which we can actually add three bits together okay so previously in the half adder circuit we saw that we can actually add two bits in half adder circuits but if we want to add three bits together then we need to use a full adder circuit so let's say uh, if we want to add 0011 with 0111 you can see that uh, at the rightmost position you are adding one with one so here you are adding only two bits so one and one means that you are getting zero in the sum part and one at the carry part so the carry goes to the uh, next uh, part over here and you can see that at uh, this specific column we need to actually add three bits together okay so in such cases you can't actually use half adders because half adders can only add up to only two bits okay so half adder cannot add three bits so in case we want to add three bits we need to use a different circuit which is known as full adder so right now we want to see how this full adder actually works so this is the block diagram for a full adder so three inputs there will be three inputs xyz and there will be uh, two output uh, two outputs one for the sum part and the other one is for the carry part so sum will, de will be denoted as s and carry will be denoted as c okay so this is the block diagram so let's check out the truth table for full adder so this is the truth table for full adder okay so in this truth table you can see that there are three different inputs and two outputs so since there are three different inputs so there are eight rows so from 0 to 7 all the binary numbers are written and uh, let's say uh, uh, for the first row we are getting here 0 0 and 0 so if we add three zeros together the result will be 0 so for some it will be 0 and the carry part will also be 0 so let's say a random example like this one over here 101 okay so we are adding three different numbers and uh, we are adding one with zero and this result will be added with one okay so the whole uh, the result of this whole uh, part addition will be something like this the sum part will be zero and the carry part will be one okay and let's say for this last row over here we are adding three ones together okay if we add three ones together then we'll be getting one at the sum part and one at the carry part okay so this is a very simple truth table and this is the truth table for a simple full adder circuit okay now we want to find out the equations for both c and s so if we find out the equations then uh, we'll see that the equations actually uh, look like this so for c the equation looks like this one and for s the equation looks like this one okay and uh, we can actually build our circuit using those equations but as you see these equations are already uh, quite uh, what can i say quite complex so if we want to build our circuit using those equations then our circuit will be large and will be complex too so what we need to do is that we want to simplify these equations okay, okay? so let's simplify these equations so if we simplify these equations then c will uh, finally be something like this one so uh, z uh, in z uh, sorry z and x x or y plus x y so this is the equation for c and for s the equation will be something like this x x or y x or z or x x or y x or z so just uh, there's a different positioning of the brackets but basically this is the same thing so uh, three different variables will be uh, xorbed together okay so this is the equation for s and this is the equation for c so now we will be building our circuit using these two equations written over here okay so let's uh, build the circuit so yeah these are the equations for c and s the equations are written here and this is the circuit diagram for a simple full adder circuit and as you can see that uh, this circuit is not that very uh, complex so this is a very simple circuit basically uh, a, a very interesting fact over here you can see that this full adder circuit is actually built using two half adder circuits you can see right here uh, I have already uh, kept an image of simple half adder circuit over here and you can see from this full adder circuit that there are two different boxes so let me just rewind the simulation and the animation here and you can see that these two boxes are indicating that these two parts over here 
are actually two half adders so this part over here is a half adder and this part over here is another half adder okay so two uh, two half adders here are actually making this whole circuit as a full adder circuit so the only extra part in this circuit except the half adders is a simple or gate okay so that's why it is written over here that full adder is made from two half adders two half adders and a simple or gate so this is how you can actually build a full adder circuit so now uh, we'll be building this circuit in our Proteus simulation software as you see this circuit is quite simple there are three inputs XYZ since we want to add three bits together okay and there are two outputs one for the sum part and the other one is for the carry part so now uh, we are going to build this circuit in our Proteus simulation software all right so this is Proteus simulation software and we want to build uh, this circuit over here so i have already taken the necessary components here uh, i have just selected them using this search option okay so i have already taken all the necessary components and now i want to build this circuit okay so let's begin all right so as you see i have already taken the necessary things in my proteus simulation software interface so there are three different inputs so three inputs xyz and uh, all other necessary gates have already been uh, placed over here so now on the only thing left for us to do is to connect them together okay so now we're going to connect them together so the connection is pretty simple you can easily do that by following the uh, by following the circuit diagram okay so let me just finish the whole connection and i'll be back again Alright, so I'm almost done with the connections. So I have already connected all of them together. So just the outputs are left. So I'm gonna be connecting the outputs now. Okay, and for the outputs to work, we also need a ground connection. So let me just connect the ground together with those LED bulb. And now we are done. Okay, so this is the whole connection over here. This is the whole connection based upon this simple circuit diagram uh, drawn over here. So this is the connection to build up a full adder circuit okay so you can see that there are uh, these sir, this circuit diagram is actually denoted by xyz and sc so let me just put uh, xyz over the inputs and s and c over the outputs all right so right now uh, this whole circuit diagram that we have built over here uh, actually looks exactly same as this one over there okay so this is the circuit diagram so now we want to test and we want to verify our circuit whether it actually works or not so we want to do this using our truth table all right so this is the truth table for a simple full adder circuit and now i want to test my circuit whether it actually works or not so uh, you can see that there are three inputs x y z so uh, i have also uh, kept these symbols in my circuit diagram so that we can actually verify it easily and I'll be putting these values for XYZ and I'll be verifying the outputs uh, based upon this truth table okay so let me run the example first okay so let's begin okay so I have uh, started the simulation and you can see the truth table you can see that for the very first row over here we are adding three different zeros okay so for three zeros uh, if we add them together the result will be zero altogether and for some part it is zero uh, no led is uh, lit up over here so the uh, output is zero and for c it is also zero okay so let me uh, try it for the next row zero zero one so if i put one in z then s should give me a value of one and c should give me a value of zero so for zero zero one yeah s is giving me one and c is giving me uh, zero so let me try another one like zero one zero yeah zero one zero s is giving me one c is giving me zero let me try another one like zero one one so for zero one one i am getting is uh, uh, I'm getting 0 in S and 1 in C and you can see from the truth tables that for 0 1 1 uh, it is actually right we should be getting 0 for S and uh, 1 for C so let me try another 1 1 0 0 okay so same thing and now 1 0 1 you can see that for 1 0 1 we should be getting 0 in S and 1 in C same thing and for 1 1 0 Okay. so if we give 1 1 0 in the input then we should be getting 0 in s and 1 in c and yeah we are getting that 
So it's just like uh, the previous one, right? So 101, 110. So in both of those cases, we are actually adding two ones, right? So that's why uh, we are actually getting the same thing, okay? But if we check it for the very last row over here, 111, so we are uh, giving three ones at the input. So we should be getting one in the S and one in C2. And we're actually getting those outputs over here. You can see that both of those lights are working now. Both of these LEDs are working. So that means if we give three ones in our adder circuit, then all the ones will be added together. And the sum part will give us a result of one. And the carry part will also give us a result of one. You can actually verify it by pen and paper. Uh, if you add uh, one with one and with another one, then we'll be getting one at the sum part and one at the carry part. And this is uh, our uh, this is what our circuit is actually demonstrating right now. So we have just verified that our whole circuit actually works same as this truth table as it's supposed to be. Okay, so that means that our circuit is working. Our circuit uh, we have actually built our circuit and we have actually verified our circuit and now we know that our circuit works perfectly as a full adder circuit so this is how you can actually build a full adder circuit in protest simulation software so hopefully you have understood uh, you have understood this tutorial really well and hopefully you'll be able to build such circuits in future so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video